I cannot recall a time when I wasn't fascinated by history. I remember being 10 years old and reading in some 1970s era popular science book that Homo sapiens had been around for a hundred to a hundred and fifty thousand years. I was already somewhat familiar with the last four thousand years or so from Hebrew school and popular history programs, but the idea of that deep well of time just fascinated me. In my early teens, I had the opportunity to volunteer for several archaeological digs in Southern California. One was a Kumeyaay site located behind a place called the Bancroft Ranch House, where I had a chance to participate in excavation of an 800-year-old village site. And another was a Spanish fort the mouth of San Diego Bay called Fort Gajaros. We found a major refuse pit the second summer I worked there, and we were all very excited. Over the 45 years since then, I've watched as our understanding of our own history has grown and evolved. There will always be more to uncover, more to understand, new conclusion to be drawn. To me, a historian is an explorer of time. They work from the maps created by those who've come before, and they seek to add to the body of knowledge available to us all. I've also always had a deep need to understand the world around me. By studying the past, I'm better able to understand the present and, hopefully, respond to it with a better or at least more informed perspective. History is also important to us as citizens in a democratic republic. In order to effectively resolve the inevitable conflict that arise between people, we have to know both the particulars of the individual case and the precedent of history. Understanding our history as a people and as an experiment in self-rule is essential to maintaining that experiment for our descendants. Finally, I do history because it connects me to the story of us as a people, a species, and as part of the community of life. By studying history, I am better able to understand myself in relation to all that has gone before.